Good evening ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Why Am I Dead Rebirth. Now in the last episode we've not really figured out much. We've died and now we're trying to figure things out as this guy. Now this guy, I can't remember what he was telling us. It's like, he said some people seem off. And he's like, everybody's off. You know? So we didn't really get much out of him. And this guy will claim that he does not know Ted. I think. So, what's going on, buddy? Nothing, buddy. I need your help with anything, I'll let you know, okay? You want to see something? I definitely do not. Well, me neither. Alright, well. We'll continue. Can I possess this guy? No. Anyone in here? Okay, well, in the last episode, I remember I was uh, going to talk to her as him. So let's see how that ends. I know there's a little, like, horror -y ambience that this game is, is giving off. Who are you? I'm Lucille. Nice to meet you. I'm so sorry. What's your name? Cricket. Nice to meet you, Cricket. Uh, did you know the hotel owner? I met him when I cracked up. Cracked up? I think I read that wrong. I remember. He was very nice to me. Uh, did you know the hotel owner? Checked in. Okay, cracked up. Where the... How the fuck did I get cracked up from checked in? Did you notice anything suspicious last night? I don't think so. Are you sure this is important? I, well, I heard a loud bang. It woke me up at night here, too. I think I heard some slamming, too. Slamming? I'm sorry, that's all I can think of. Where were you last night? Me? I, well, I was in my room all, all of last evening. I was reading a book. Do you like books? You seem her by herself. Yes. She tried to change the subject. Isn't that suspicious? Let's possess her. You're trying to find the murder? Yeah, I guess I am. I mean, the police won't be here. What? Here? For a while, and we're all trapped by him by the storm, so I figured it's up to us to find the truth behind this. Well, she doesn't normally exit the room, so this will be a fun experience for everyone. Hello, little girl. Hi there, little girl. How are you? Fine, mi miss. Whoa, whoa, fuck. I'm missing shit. Okay, done. Okay, let's read that again. I'm fine, miss. Okay. Are you and your mommy on vacation? That's what mommy says. Don't know why we wouldn't be on vacation in a place like this. Can I talk to you creepy woman here? Sorry, hi miss. Can I ask you a question? I don't want you to, but you will anyway, so just get it over with. Did you know the owner or anyone in this hotel? God, no, and I'm glad for it. A bunch of degenerates, Jews, and druggies here. Whoa. Okay, yeah, that was really unnecessary. Why are you so mean to everyone, you crazy old hag? Ugh. Oh, hello, dears. Is something I can help you with? Uh, do you know the owner before you well? I wouldn't say that I knew the man. We had some brief encounters in the hotel, but nothing more. It's a shame what happened to him, though. I see. Was that it, or did you have something else to add? No, that's cool. Uh, I... If you don't mind, what do you do? Oh, well, if you want to know, I devote most of my time raising my daughter, Iblis. Fuck, I missed that as well! Not afraid to ask personal questions, I see. If you really want to know so badly, it's just from a settlement with my ex-husband. That is my livelihood for now, while I spend time with my daughter. What did I ask her? If you wanna know? I mean your livelihood. Where does it come from? Not afraid to ask personal questions. We really wanna know from a settlement, my ex-husband. Okay, everything makes sense now, not. You have something to say? No. No, don't go away, I wanna possess you more. Hold on, no. Fuck. Okay. Creepy lady. Come back, I wanna to talk to you. Uh, wrong room. Whoa. Okay, he's really creepy because he doesn't move, like, at all. You know what a shocker this would be? If, like, the murderer ends up being this guy. He's, like, the first guy we possess. So, it would... Great, now I'm trapped. Hold on. How do I exit? Uh... No, 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 no! Damn it! I wanna possess you! Come back here! Come! Okay. Hi there, miss. You seem anxious. Me? Oh no, sweetie. I'm not anxious. Are you a ver- What the fuck? What is this kid reading? Are you a virgin? Mommy says that virgins can be really uptight. What? Child, do you even know what that word means? Of course I do. Well enough anyway. So are you one? Uh, I cannot have this conversation with a seven-year-old. Mothers shouldn't tell their kids things like that, honestly. What the fuck is wrong with that kid? Um. 
Okay, let's talk. Let's try to talk to this guy. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Stop trying to run away from me. Excuse me, what is it you do for a living? Well, young miss, I'm glad you asked. It's a thing prone to lots of judgment by small, by small minded people. But being an exhibitionist is about getting past that. All the judgment. It's about getting down the root, you know? The root, it's. I'm sorry, I asked your no. <laughs> Oh my god. I, I don't know, but I hate that guy. Hi. Oh, hey, what's up? You know, I'm asking what you do. Well, I don't mind. I'm a salesman. Like a lot of people here, I'm just on vacation. Normally, I travel around a lot more hospitable areas. Yes, that would be very convenient. How so? Nothing. I skipped the conversations too fucking fast. Is there anyone else to... Talk to? There's... N okay, so that that's all the cast right there. But... I kind of talked to everyone, didn't I? Oh, I didn't talk with, I didn't talk to the manager with her. It scares me every time I come in because of the fucking TV. Hello. Holy shit, she speaks. You're finally able to hold a conversation, girl. You knew the owner, huh? Oh yeah, of course I did. He was my boss. Wait. So did he mention he was going to meet someone from outside the hotel? Wait, someone from outside the hotel? What? How did you know about? What I mean is, mind your own damn business. Don't see what any of the owner of his personal affairs have to do with you. I'll take that as a yes. Take it however you want it, just leave me alone. What? Are you hiding something? Uh, classy... Can I check the bed? Don't trap me there, sir. No. Okay. Can I examine the TV? There's a TV scene on drawer, it looks like it's decades old. Not surprising because it's broken and only showing static. Okay, I suppose this is the exit. Nothing to do in there. Nothing to do in the, the room he's been murdered in, I suppose. Can I talk to the red hair dude about what that guy just said to me? What have you found out? While well, taking a look at the crime scene didn't yield any clues, however, I've narrowed down the list of suspects by figuring out everyone's alibis. Ooh! Okay, so she's like... Um... She's like the help? Of this game? Like the help button? I don't know. She's like, we can... We can consult ourselves here. What are everyone's alibis? I'm sorry to save this, but... Oh, for fuck's sake, no she isn't! I'm sorry to say this, but I already keep that to myself. There's a murderer walking around, I don't want to give them any information I can help them. The only alibi I can disclose is my own. I was in the bathroom and someone can confirm that. I hope you understand. How did you find something like that? How did I find that out? Oh well. Uh, to be honest, I heard about it from Ted. It all seemed to line up with the facts and I have no reason to distrust him. Ted told you that? Interesting. I is it? Okay, let's talk to Ted. I suppose I can talk to Ted now. Ah, there we go. So I hear you were talking to Cricket about alibis. You did? You heard that? You told him about everyone's alibis. Yes, yes of course. I did tell him that. He seems very committed to finding out what happened to the owner. I also determined he couldn't have been the killer, so I've tried to help where I could. Okay, need to slow down. Yes, yes, of course, I did tell him that. He seems very committed. Oh, okay, it's the same thing. How do you know so much about everyone? Well, I wouldn't say that I know about everyone. It's really Orville. I feel kind of bad for the guy, so I tried to talk to him. He's got an awful habit of sticking his nose into other people's business, though, and he's really gabby. I guess in this case, it served a good purpose, though. So you only heard from Orville, did you? Yeah, like I said, he's kind of creepy, but I still feel bad for him. So, I guess we're talking to Orville now? Where is the creepy son of a bitch? There you are. Don't flash me. No, come back. Come. Get. Get back. <laughs> I've hear you've been talking to Ted. Ted? Sorry, he doesn't ring any bells. He's the guy with a weird tropical t-shirt. Let me think. Oh, right. Now I remember. I remember that I haven't seen anything like that. He has a weird tropical t-shirt. What are you kidding me? That's strange, he told me you were two are best friends. No way, he really said that? Best friends. <gasps> and by that I mean, uh, who's Ted? Sorry, doesn't ring any bells. So you do know Ted, you just said so. Stop wasting my time. 
Whoa, 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 let's just calm down. Okay, so I have talked to Ted a little bit. We're sort of buddies. Nothing else to say about it, really. It's not so important. He told him where people were on the night of the murder. What? No, I don't remember talking to him about that. We talk about all kinds of stuff, but not that. We, you know, weather, sports, chicks. <laughs> chicks. I'm about to lose my patience, and usually when that happens, people go to the hospital. Oh my god, Lucille. Jeez, calm down. Okay, 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 I'm just joshing you. It was a joke. You're a very clever woman. So smart. No way I could fool you. Please don't hurt me. Yeah, I told Ted a little bit about the other whole little telling. It's just a little tiny bit. Some of that may or may not have been about where they were the night of the murder. Uh, why did you tell Ted about the others? Well, to be honest, not that I haven't been honest at this point, or that I wasn't going to be honest in the first place. I mean, Ted kind of told me to do some research for him, keep an eye on the older hotel tenants, and report back to him. You know, nothing weird. So Ted asked you to spy on the others for him, and then he shared that information with Cricket. Very suspicious. Suspicious? Is that a good thing? Is it a good thing or suspicious? No, it isn't. Ted, do you have anything to say? Hi? Okay, what's up? Okay, same thing. He ran away. Oh, whoa, come back. Can I talk to Cricket about this? Okay, need to find... No, come back! Okay. Uh, here we talking to Ted. For fuck's sake. Why did you lie to me about not knowing Ted? I wasn't lying, I was just fibbing a little tiny bit. Ted told me that I talked too much about stuff and I should probably not mention to others what I tell him. There may not, uh, there may or may not have been some veiled threats involved. <laughs> I can't remember, I should say. Uh, did I ask about it? You told them where people were on the murder. Uh, oh, chicks? Yeah, chicks, if you know, like, babes. <laughs> well, we're talking about that, because that's what guys talk about. Guys who have experience with chicks, which is what we are. Yup. Ah, damn it! Piece of shit. I don't know why, but, it, like... Okay. What did you tell Ted? What? Okay, hold on. What's going on, buddy? Uh, buddy, if I need your help with anything, I'll just let you know, okay? You guys are good, good things are good. Uh. Okay, wait, I have an idea. Why am I controlling this guy? I have no idea, but maybe this will work. What's up, miss? Oh. Uh. No, not him. Him. I want to tell her my alibi. What now? What do I do now? Where do I go? Do I talk to Ted as this guy or do I? Well, hold on. What's your alibi? Oh, get get back here, you! I need to talk to you. Ted said he was in your room last night. Is that true? Oh, he still doesn't remember who Ted is. Oh! Oh, here's who I haven't possessed yet. You! You creepy lady. Who are you again? My name's Cricket. I've been staying this hotel recently. So you have to say about yourself. Oh, well, I'm a lawyer. Oh, criminal lawyer, that is. Usually I live in the city for work, but I usually thought I'd take, but I thought I'd take a break and head to the bronies. <laughs> a lawyer? So you're a heartless, soulless leech on society. Sorry to hear it. Some people certainly think of my vacation. Who are you again? And 
So another, yep, East City Slicker on vacation. How boring. Yeah, I guess that's me. What are you doing here? What are you doing? What? <laughs> okay, goodbye then. You're kind of standing in my doorway. Please move. Oh. <laughs> I don't want to be an old hag. You know, sweetie, you're sharper tech than you look. Thanks, lady mama said I have good, uh, what's the word? Intuition? Yes, dear, I'd say that sums it up. Shame you're a spoiled rotten brat, though. Mommy also says something about you, too. I'm not allowed to say it's bad words, though. <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> How are you doing, darling? Alright, my name's Morgan. Alright, Morgan, what brings you out here? I'm here with my daughter. I thought I'd take her on a short vacation. Living in the city for too long at a time isn't good, I think. Oh, you're a mother, how splendid. I think it's not easy, but it's rewarding. But while you're here, there's nothing interesting. Well, it's not too far away from home, and it's inexpensive. Personally, I like to take my daughter elsewhere, but finances are tight. Not being mean to her? How are you taking the owner's death? Why, it's always unnerving for someone in such close proximity to die in such a ghastly way. Although it's my daughter that I'm worried the most about, it's not something a child should see. So I was, th I was thinking you might feel more slowly given your relationship with the owner. I I'm sorry? There's no relationship between me and the owner. Oh, the hag knows something. Oh, it was very obvious. I wonder if it was purely physical, if there was any money in the world. Can I be serious? Physical money? I don't even want to consider what you mean by that. I'm, su I'm suggesting that you two are sleeping together. It's a very vulgar accusation. I barely know the man. I'm not that kind of woman, and I'm insulted that you would suggest I am. I think you are chasing his money. If I were in a relationship with someone, it wouldn't be not be for their money. You must be a bitter, cynical person for that to be your first assumption. Honey, listen to me. I listen good. Oh, that's really good. The whole thing was obvious. You aren't fooling me. All I want to know is, was he loaded? You are a vile and spiteful woman. If you want to hear so badly, then fine. I was sleeping with the owner. And yes, he was wealthy. In fact, grossly wealthy. At first, I considered myself lucky, but I soon realized something. There was no way he could have acquired that wealth through this hotel. And yet, the money was pouring in. I stayed close to him in part to spy on him and his finances. My efforts led me to believe his hotel is nothing but a giant front. I hid away some of his paperwork in my dresser that points to this conclusion. If I had more time, I might have. None of that really interests me. I already know that he was a rotten, thieving bastard. I seriously? I'm staying at the hotel in front of some. I'm staying the hotel. I'm saying the hotel is in is a front for something illegal. That doesn't bother you? You're truly a twisted person. There's something in his drawer then. I walk so slow. I think this hag's gonna die. Wait, very not underneath. But didn't she say something about a drawer? Or did I read that wrong? Was it not this drawer she was talking about? I really don't like this room. This game can easily turn into a horror game. I need to talk to her again. What did you mean? Oh no, I'm going through all that again. In my dresser. In her dresser. Fuck me. Inside their sort of clothes make them sick. There's also some very risk lingerie. Investigate for her. Underneath the lingerie, it's a giant brown envelope with the word confidential written on it. You don't have any use for it. Somebody else might find this of interest. Do I? But they won't know to search for it. Okay, so I did the hags part. Now lawyer comes back into play. But will I find the thing in here with him? Oh, I will. Inside the envelope are sort of files belonging to the owner of the hotel. They have to do with his personal finances, the hotel's finances. What is Morgan doing with files like these? Did I take the files? Can I question Morgan about this? Okay, I can. So I found these files in your room. What? These? How did you? I can explain those. You don't have to. I know you were investigating the owner's files. I don't know how you found out about those files, and I guess it doesn't matter anymore. Yes, I've been trying to find out more about the owner's finances. They were very suspicious. How are they suspicious? You weren't... You weren't in a relationship with the owner in order to get, what, to get closer to those files, weren't you? If you are so obsessed with my personal fine, life, fine. Yes, I was in a relationship. I don't see how that is relevant. However, I chose to obtain those files on my own, is my own concern. 
How are they suspicious? Quite simply, the income of hotels should have been pulling in from tenants and the income it actually earned didn't match. Look at this place. Can I actually imagine such a flimsy excuse for a hotel would be able to earn a profit? Well, it shouldn't, but mysteriously, money comes out of nowhere to keep this place out of the red. It has led me to think that this hotel is nothing but a front. You're... Uh, what do you... What do you think the hotel is a front for? That's exactly what I was trying to figure out. I was hoping that if I could stuck around long enough, I could deduce what the owner was hiding. But with the owner gone, so is my supply of information. It's possible that's the end of it, but what if he had partners? What if he was part of a larger ring? Now, I'll never really know. Okay. Help? Well, I suppose you can help him whenever you like. I'm sure you, you suspected that I was behind the owner's death responses. The bottom line is, I had a good thing going with the owner alive. Perhaps I could have ended the, up blackmailing him. I don't have any more time for you. Good luck with the rest of your investigation. So, I don't think it was her. I know it's kind of... Okay. Oh, okay, good. Okay. <laughs> I don't think it was her. I really don't think it was her. It could have been her. It, for all I know, it could have been this old hag as well. I could have been there as well. Uh, okay, don't care. You! Get, don't, don't make me chase you around. Okay, who... Didn't I talk to? I don't think the hag has any more part to do. She may have, she may not have. Uh, didn't... What are you supposed to be? Uh, I'm not a salesman, but I thought I'd take a little vacation. Uh, I got the door, you know, meet the real working people. Okay, I didn't catch that. Okay, then you're more of a scumbag than I thought. Um, is there a reason you're constantly smiling? I don't suppose so, but let me ask you this. Yes, yeah, so many, you must be a crazy person. Funny old lady. What? What did you want to ask her? Is something wrong? Yes, there's a small, smug young man bothering me. Hey! I want to talk to you! And what are you exactly? My name is Orville. I want to people like on an exhibition. It's, you see? That sounds disgusting. <laughs> well, it's kind of misunderstood, I think. You see, it's not like how you think it is. It's really about... Do you have a brain? Are you actually trying to have a conversation with me right now? I... You are... You're not a nice lady. You look nice, but where you're not. I know. Well, it was the same reaction I had in the first place. You are the hotel manager, yes? Uh, yeah, I guess I am. You guess? Well, I was just assistant manager a couple of days ago. Now, I guess I could call my... For fuck's sake. I guess I could call myself the hotel emperor for all anyone cares. Uh, well, I see. I have to say you're doing a marvelous job on the hotel. Really? You actually like this dump? No, I was being sarcastic. This place is disgusting. You know, I really don't have time for your will. I mean, why not? If you haven't, if you had the money or common sense to be anywhere else, that's where you'd be. Wait, do you smell something? No, can't say I do. Really? I'm thinking of an overpowering stench of... Is it whiskey? Oh yeah, actually, that'd be a good nose. I have an act for all my husbands have been drunk. I really don't want to play as this woman. You can see why. Never mind. Did you know about the hotel owner and Gamora? Uh, what? You know they were sleeping with each other, right? I I mean, what are you talking to me about this? How do you even know about that? Oh, don't play dumb. You know about it, too. Yeah, I guess I have my suspicions. Excuse me for being in disbelief. This ain't exactly routine fucking small talk. Managed to get that blunt bitty to confess all about it. Why in all the hells would she talk to you about something like this? Why do you care either way? Actually, scratch that. I don't want to know. She felt guilty. A guilty conscience always talks. So what's some kind of challenge to you to get it out of her? I don't get you, lady. She was trying to tell me about the owner, some kind of conspiracy theory, I don't know. Wait, what was that? She knew something about the owner? Oh, she made it sound like she was only with the owner to dig up dirt on it. She said the hotel might be a front or some such thing. She said that? She was investigating the owner? I wonder what she found out. If we combine her knowledge, what could we find out? She probably never trust me though, would she? Huh. You. You're not a person. I haven't. Venus, you look real smug. You know something I don't? 
Well, you know, I'm just trying to relax, trying to put people at ease. You may not show it, but the people here are uneasy. Yeah, no, not by any. You know something. <laughs> you say so. What about you? You know something. You creep me out. Bye. Okay. You, woman. How you all know, miss? Well, I'm doing alright, just trying to care, take care of Iblis. Well, just winging by to let you know if you need any help, just call me. Yes, I know. Anything comes up, just give me a call. Wouldn't be a bother. You already said that, just now. Alright, I guess I should go then. Yes, it's been a pleasure. Bye. <laughs> what? Hey, miss, my name is Randy, hotel manager. Um, yes, I met you when I checked in. Well, just swinging by to let you know if you need any help, just call me. Yes, I know. Hey there. Hi, hey, how's it going? What can I do to help? Well, I did have a really important question I was hoping you'd answer. Of course, what do you need to know? Why do you dislike the hotel owner so much? I could tell you that, but first, is it true that you were investigating the owner? Oh, there we go! <laughs> there we go! Is it true that you think the hotel is a front? Who told you that? So it's true. I had my suspicions about the owner, but I never tried to find the truth. I was scared, scared of him. Scared I'd never see my daughter again. What? None of it matters now. You can ask me anything you want. Maybe you'll find out what you're looking for. What do you like the owner? Well, long story short, I have a criminal record and can't go back. Whoa, okay. The owner made a deal with me. I work here and do everything he tells me without questioning. He'll make my past go away. Meaning I was a servant, a whip dog. He wasn't my boss, he was my extortionist. How could I like him? Did you know the hotel was running a huge deficit? No, but I guess it wouldn't surprise me. I never got close to hotel finances and profit. But we don't get many tenants, it's true. Any idea where the rest of the money's coming from? You think the hotel's up front, right? I think there's a good theory. Money probably comes from outside, but I guess but I can't guess any more than that. I couldn't say anything about business, but I could tell the man had power, connections. I don't know where it come from, but certain people would visit. People who, well, could afford better than here. I made you suspicious of the owner. Aside from his general nature and the fact he was extorting me, well, he would give me strange odd jobs at the time. Nothing illegal, but suspicious. What are the errands the owner gave you? The weird thing was see, the weird thing was they seemed to have no connection to the hotel. Maybe I'd fix something he gave me, or go out and buy something and bring it to the hotel. But then I'd never see it again. Like I'd buy blankets, but never see them used for the tenants' beds. I always wondered where they went. It was like there was some other dimension they went to. What? Did you know the hotel was running a huge deficit? Was the owner involved in any kind of kind of business part of the hotel? Couldn't say anything about business, but I could say the man had power connections. Oh, okay. What would these visitors do? As far as I could tell, they spent time in his room together talking and whatnot. Sometimes they spent all day in there doing who knows what. Though, though come to think of it, I had never really heard of them. It was always very quiet when the visitors went over. From what you said, maybe the owner did have a spare dimension? Are you really gonna do this now? What are you saying? Let's go through everything we've established between my and your information. Well I know the well I know the owner's got some weird connections. People visit him and they seem to disappear into his room for days at a time. He gave me all sorts of we or work to do that seemed like they were for the hotel, but then I never hear of them again. The hotel's expensive don't add up with the number of tenants, so it has to be getting his money somewhere else. It's possibly a front of larger illegal business. Am I missing anything? Did it ever occur to you that there's another section to the hotel, a hidden area? A hidden area? That, that would make sense. That would explain things. Maybe like storage area or something? For drugs? We can't know until we find it. Find it? You really want to search for it? Well, if there really is a hidden area, there has to be an entrance somewhere. Based on what we already know, maybe we can figure out where it might be. I'll follow you. Leave no stone unturned. Oh, holy shit, okay. Uh, I suppose it's in his room. Because they did say, like, looking good, investigate. Looks like there's a regular mirror. Hold on a second. Behind Aha! Found it! First thing I checked. Behind a mirror, it looks like there's a switch. Flip it. Holy mother of... It's a hidden door right inside the owner's room. Holy shit. Who knows where this reads to? The truth may be in here, but who knows what else we'll find. I think we should be absolutely sure we're ready before we go in there. If there's anything you want to do, you should do that first. What does that mean? What's going to happen while we go in there? 
Well, we're gonna find out in the next episode. <laughs> I'm sorry to end it here, but yeah, we're kind of 30 minutes in. So yeah, in the next episode, we'll head in there. So yeah, until next time, guys. Take care and high five. See ya.